Hi, my name is Curtis Peterson. I'm the Head of Partnerships at Mobile ODT. We're a medical technology company based out of Tel Aviv, Israel, and we create products that help detect cancer. Uh, the EVA system is a smartphone-enabled medical device that is used for screening for cervical cancer. And so what we have here, in terms of hardware, is a light source for illumination of the cervix, a lens for magnification, and the other piece of this hardware is a standard Android-based smartphone. So when we put the phone into the device, we have a piece of software that runs on the phone that is used with the device itself. The application that we run on our medical device is called ServDX, and on it we have accounts that are created for every practitioner or screener that's using the technology. This is my account, and I log in with the PIN. And once I've done that, you can see that I get to a patient tracking screen, where you can see a record of the patients that I've screened previously. When I want to create a new patient, I tap the Add Patient button, and I can enter patient information, such as name, age, and the phone number for contacting the patient. After I've done that, you can now see that the device has actually become a viewfinder for screening. And so if we imagine that my hand is a cervix, you can see that I visualize the cervix in real time through the viewfinder of the phone. We can see in the image here the magnification and the, the high level of detail that we get using the device. You can actually see my fingerprints through the device. I can use the technology to capture as many images as I want. Uh, after the examination is complete and I've captured images of the cervix, I can then record my treatment decision as a practitioner. So you can see here, I can choose to indicate whether the diagnosis was normal, abnormal, or the exam was incomplete. If, for example, I see an abnormality on the cervix, I can indicate that I saw a precancerous lesion, and then I can make a decision on whether I'm going to treat the patient on site, if that's available at my health facility, or I can refer her to another facility for treatment. If I choose to refer, I can enter the facility name, um, or I can specify the level of facility. So for example, I could say that I'm referring to a level five facility. I tap next, and I finish. Because of the connectivity of the phone and the software that runs on the phone, all of the treatment decisions and patient information is synced securely into, a, into an online portal where I can use the technology for clinical consultations, 